not too long ago was actually voted the second most livable city in the entire world. If you're not Indian. <laughs> so it's pretty tough right now. You guys obviously remember when the cops went on TV and tried to deny that the attacks on Indian students had anything to do with race. Do you remember the head of police was on TV and he was like, now nah, look, look, these attacks are not racially motivated whatsoever. What we've found is that they're simply happening to people who happen to speak Punjabi too loud on the trains. <laughs> now look, that could happen to anybody. <laughs> So now, obviously, the Indian community isn't really that fond of the Victoria Police. So the cops have decided that the best way to bridge the gap between the police force and the local Indian community is to recruit Indians into the police force. Now, can I just say, uh, as a brown person, <laughs> if there is one way to make a Victoria Police um, more corrupt, <laughs> It's to have Indians join the police force. Because I don't know if you guys know how law enforcement works in the subcontinent, but uh, you can pretty much bribe any cop for any crime for like a dollar. Can you imagine that happening here in Australia? Like, sir, you are under arrest for the murder of a hang on a second, mate. Hang on, what's <laughs> I've got a dollar ten that says it was a guy next door, mate. Are you trying to bribe? Did you just say a dollar ten, was it? <laughs> sir, I think there's been some sort of mistake. Sometimes I think you all look the same, sorry. <laughs> See what I did there? So, uh, I've been running like five minutes, so. It's almost time to wrap up. <laughs> I'll tell you about myself as I'm leaving. Um, so, growing up, I actually I used to get bullied in school. In year seven, I got bullied really badly by these by these kids in my class. I know, hard to believe. I wasn't always as uh, as buff as I am now, but there was a time. And I ended up telling my mum about it, uh, and all of a sudden, the bullying just stopped and I had no idea why and the bullies started acting really nice to me. It was really it was just weird. I had no idea. Till one day school finished, I was walking towards the school gate and I see my mom standing there with a bunch of bullies from the year level above me and they all had bags of chocolate and lollies in, my, in their hands. My mom had literally bribed one group of bullies to keep another group of bullies off my back. <laughs> That's, that's brown parenting. <laughs> she, she didn't speak to the kids' parents, uh, or the teachers, or the principal. Um, she just contracted a gang to protect me. <laughs> Which is fine, but uh, nowadays, I don't know if people are being genuinely nice to me, or if my mum's just bribed the mafia with m and I, I don't know if my mum's meeting like shady characters in the middle of the night, just handing over a briefcase like, here, yeah, it's on in there. Three photo frogs, four chocolates, and five wagon wheels. <laughs> You just make sure nobody is mean to my boy Nazim. <laughs> this is Hussein, you have nothing to worry about. I'm a police officer. <laughs> For the right price, anything can happen. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. I think that's about five minutes. Thank you.